If you cast bullets for your reloading, you need to know what the hardness of the metal is a lot of the time. And maybe the best way is with the Lee Hardness Tester Kit. It comes in a typical red box from Lee, and it has four parts, four parts to it. This, and this is important because inside it contains a conversion chart. We'll talk about that. It has a microscope. It has a V-block upon which you can place a bullet for testing purposes, but not necessarily. You may not need that. I didn't. Um, and then the last, of course, is the actual tester itself. And what you have is this hardened ball on the end that's, um, I guess, carbide or something. But anyway, it's a hardened ball of a known diameter. And inside, it's a pretty heavy spring. And at the upper end, there is a plunger hole. And a plunger will come out of there and line up flush when you're at the correct spring pressure. So what you're going to do is put a dent in your bullet. And you can put it on any flat surface. Um, if you, if you have a bullet like, say, this, then they, they advise you never to do it to the base. I'm not quite sure why, but they very emphatic about that. Don't measure the base. What, what you can do is file a flat on the nose if you have a, a round nose bullet like that. Fortunately, the ones I was testing today were round nose flat point, RFFP from NOE Bullet Mole. It's a beautiful bullet too, by the way. It's uh, 230 grain, 45 caliber, and it's really designed for black powder with a great big single lube groove. So in operation, you're gonna press a dimple into the, into the nose of this thing. And then you're gonna take your little inspection microscope and you're gonna read it. That can be a problem, but anyway, Here's the process. Watch it. You know, it's hard to imagine anything much easier than using this uh, Lee hardness tester with the Forster Coax Press, of all things. And especially if your bullet already has a flat on it. In the case of this 45 caliber, 230 grain, round nose, flat point. So all you have to do is just drop it right down onto the shell plate and the jaws are going to grab the bullet. Let's say it's not quite in the center and center it right up. And then when you bring the bullet up, it will go against the tip and I'll press it down until the plunger is flush. And there's your bullet complete with the, the dimple. And then we take that and put it under the inspection microscope and see how big the dimple is. Let's do that now. Kind of tight quarters here, you see. I had a very, very difficult time with this thing trying to look through it. See, here at my at my bullet, you have to hold it. Uh, it should be actually, I guess, resting on top of it, uh, touching it. And then you look through here and you try to line everything up well that's hard to do folks because everything is reversed inside optically and I'm shaking I'm going up and it, it's difficult here's the solution so the solution is to use this iPhone tripod this is one made by gorilla pod I think and uh, on top of it I've got one of the little rubber uh, frames that holds the the iPhone but in this case, I just use a clamp and clamp the Lee microscope right to it. You adjust it. Let's see, can I show you this? Yes. You adjust it to the correct height so that it's almost, but not quite touching. And then, move my hands around here, you can Amazingly enough, you can operate backwards like this, and there it is. Yeah, so there you have it. There's your, your bullet. And like I said, you, 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 you just bend the legs until the microscope 
is um, right almost touching. And there it is. Right. All right, here's a view through the microscope. And uh, what I'm going to try to do is line up that left edge with zero. Let's see if we can get a better better exposure. Now let's Not doing so well. Let's see. There we go. A little bit better. All right. We're trying to get that zero on the left lined up with the edge of the bullet. And I'm, I'm moving the microscope. There we go. And then we want to look here pretty much in the center and uh, at the right edge and see what number lines up. And it's point zero six, And then... Uh, Let's zoom in a little bit. Point zero 0.06 and two lines, each line being two thousandths of an inch. So we're point oh 0.064 is the diameter of the indentation. And when we look that up, we, we you know we determine what the Brunel hardness is. In this case, twelve and a half. Uh, point oh 0.064 is twelve and a half. And like I said, we've had. We've had them ranging all over the place. Let's see if I can move over just a little bit and get that edge better. There we go. It's just the tiniest. Oh, that's much better. All right. Now we're a little bit off on the left. So let's work on that. And you got so many things here that are wiggling around. Okay. Now we're on it pretty good. And on the left side and on the right side it's still 0.064 maybe a hair over so 064065 right in there and that would mean 12 and a half to 12.1 and that's pretty much in line with what we've been finding out but this is the um, this is the Lee uh, don't know if I can Let's zoom out. Yeah, there it is, Lee. The Lee microscope. I guess you could use it for other things too. Kind of cool.